Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Thurns Ominous God Selections here for Sunday, July 14th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball at the Reds' first five, minus half a run at minus 115 on DraftKings. Wasn't easy, but it was very fun as both teams combined for 12 runs in the first five innings. Abbott was horrible, which I did not expect. However, I did think Cabrera would be terrible, and he was as the Reds scored seven runs against him. So nice winner there. I'll look for the winner here on Sunday. For the actual play, though, do remind me once again that we have more picks on our website. So don't forget to go to the website when you do. Use the promo code L9KYW. S40, take 40% off. Code is also in the description. Plus, a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell so you get notified, and you'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going to baseball once again. Got to look at a matchup between the Rockies and the Mets taking place at around 1.40 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, we're going to take the Mets on the run one. We're going to take the Mets minus one and a half and minus 103 on Bed Rivers. Time recording of 12.30 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings where we're going to go with the Mets on the run line in this home game. First reason the Mets have been in great form recently as they have won five straight and four of those wins have been with multiple runs. While the Rockies have been in free fall once again recently as they have lost six of their last seven and five of those six losses were by at least four runs. So the Rockies have been getting destroyed recently, and I think that should be the case once again here on Sunday. The Mets offensively have been really good this season, probably the most underrated offense in the entire league, as the Mets are averaging 4.89 runs per game, which is the fifth best in the league, and the Mets have also scored at least six runs in five straight. So the Mets have been in great form offensively all season long, but especially lately, and I do think they should fare well in this matchup. Now the Rockies, on the other hand, are bad on the road every year, especially on offense. And this year is no different. The Rockies this season are averaging just 3.63 runs per road game, which is the fourth fewest in the league. And for the pitching matchup, you have Quintana pitching for the Mets, who's quietly been one of the best pitchers in baseball for the last month. Last five starts for Quintana, 30 and a third innings pitched, a .89 ERA. He's been unhittable, basically, uh, for the last month. And I think he should fare well in this one. But looking at the Rockies, you have a familiar name who's actually not pitched for a while. Marquez is pitching. He's not pitched in the majors since April 2023. So he's back from injury. We'll see how he does. But he did make a couple of minor league starts as a rehab process, and he was awful in most of them. He made seven minor league starts, 19 innings pitched, a 7.11 ERA. And that was mostly in double A. So the point is Marquez was really struggling in the minors, and he got called up anyway. Now he's against a very solid offense that's been in great form recently, having scored six-plus runs in five straight. I think Marquez is going to struggle. I think Quintana should pitch very well, especially against uh, the Rockies, who are terrible offensively on the road. It's kind of similar to that red play that we had yesterday, except it's for the full game, where I, you have a good pitcher on the mound, against a pitcher that has really shown a lot of warning signs to potentially get shelled in this matchup. And the Mets are in good form while the Rockies are not. So that being the case, I am going to go with the Mets to get the job done by at least two runs in this matchup. So that once again, here for Sunday, July 14th, it's going to be on the Mets, minus one and a half and minus 103 on Bet Rivers. Bye, everyone.